Hey guys, my name is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Skyhaven where today is the day guys. Today is the day that we're going to try and push towards actually unlocking and building the concrete side of our airport. Which means, oh it means a lot more stress. I can't tell you right now how much stress it's going to mean but we'll get onto that in just a moment. We have got to the point right now in our tiny little airport where we're making exuberant amounts of cash. It's going so well. If we check our schedule window, we got flights now coming 24 hours of the day. It's amazing. It's mainly cargo at the moment. Uh, but I can't really sign any more passenger. And the reason for that is all the airlines have now progressed into an era that is beyond me. <laughs> and I need to catch them up. So what I'm currently trying to do right now is research the concrete side of things. We managed to get the concrete optimization and the cement and gravel market research, which heavily reduces the prices of the concrete when I build them. And now it's just down to me building the concrete. So currently I'm researching the ability to get the concrete runway, the concrete taxiway, and uh, the uh, unlock concrete taxiway. Wait, hold on. Are these the same things? <laughs> one's an exit, one's just a normal road. And then we need to unlock the ramps and we can start officially accepting bigger planes. But with bigger planes, you know what I'm going to say right now, guys. Becomes bigger problems. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see what's going to go down. That's what I mean, boys. It's going to give us lots and lots of headaches. But I'm all here for it. I'm excited. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. I think I might only make them on demand to begin with before I start scheduling them. Just so I can make sure I don't completely overload my airport. So what we're going to do when we unlock it, we're going to kind of build the runway going down this way. Because I'm going to assume... Um, based on the fact that this tarmac runway was bigger than the dirt runway or the grass runway, I'm going to assume this concrete one's going to be even bigger. So I'm going to pull it over here and then kind of build a few stands. And um, yeah, we'll try and keep it separate. We'll try and maybe try and get it to utilize some of the same stuff. But I've got enough money in the bank right now, boys, that I should be completely fine. I should be completely fine at this point. So right now, we're pretty much waiting until the next day. That's literally all we're doing right now is waiting for the next day. Um, we do kind of need to think about kind of increasing our capacities because as these new planes are going to be coming in, they're going to have a lot more demands. Now, last episode, we managed to... Hold on. Oh, look at that. Look at that, boys. Holy smokes. I nearly made a hundred grand profit on the day. That's crazy. Now, last episode, we actually researched all the bigger vehicles and managed to buy all the bigger vehicles. Turned out it was pretty damn sweet. I've now got a ton of clerks right now doing all the research for me so we can get stuff done so much quicker, but it is quite expensive. Now, we got a bunch of cargo vehicles here. They're all okay. Nothing is going down here right now we're doing absolutely fantastic boys absolutely fantastic it's all going to change with our next set now while we do wait for the day to fast forward and get through it when we get these bigger planes um we can kind of almost kind of figure out what their demands are going to be and what they kind of want uh, and if I go to these planes over here, like this Douglas over here, I'm going to assume that this is the runway required. There's no suitable ramp. So yeah, this is the runway required. And you can see that it's if it, if it potentially does want refueling, it can be anywhere between 41,000 41, <laughs> for the DC-10, the Airbus A300, 24,000. Now, I only hold 100,000 in fuel. Now, obviously, if you schedule them, there's, they, they don't want it. It's if you get the on-demand flights, they want it. And I don't have that much capacity. So if I was to go down the refueling side of things again, airplane services, uh, we have, we've also got to get all the kind of the cleaning services and all that kind of stuff as well. Now, we can get the double Cistream fuel storage, which one of these, oh, look at that. One of those holds 150,000 on its own. That's amazing. These alone only hold 25,000, so it just shows you the huge difference. Damn, boys. The damn. This is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. So, I've never wanted to fast forward more for the day than I do right now. I have never wanted to fast forward more for the day than I do right now. I can actually accept... Oh, no, actually, you know what? I can't accept that plane. I need the new runway for it. But look at that. It shows you what you want. This would want uh, 3,000 fuel, which is actually not that much. It needs a lot of cargo. Yo, that will completely wipe out what I've got remaining. But you'll get 33,000 in return. 
Holy moly, that's going to need so much cargo. These only hold 40, so that would take so many of those vehicles. I'm telling you, boys. When I said bigger planes bring bigger problems. Damn, son! <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Right, I'm all here for it. I'm all here for it right now. I am all here for it. So, we're going to need bigger cargo vehicles. Now, is this this Packard one? This is a... Uh, this is a passenger vehicle. It's not that one. We did get the the kind of the truck and trailer set up recently, didn't we? We did. Uh, but I always forget where they were. Is it passengers? It's not passenger services. Where's the truck and trailer? Even though I did kind of fall under it because of... Um, you can carry um, baggage and cargo at the same time. But it completely changes. This over here is a luggage truck. It carries 50. And then this one over here carries 60, which is amazing. But then you eventually get up to the bigger belt loaders. Holy moly. Okay, we've got lots of work to do, boys. We've got lots of researching to get done. Right, so to speed things up then, because we do have exuberant amounts of money, I'm going to get another administration building or management building in just so I can hire more clerks because I need to get through as much research in as I possibly can. So this will heavily ramp up the amount of researching your boy is now doing. There we go, boys. There we go. And then that should now tear through. Look how quick the research is now going up. This is really exciting. This is really exciting. So get this done as much as we can. And then that will be the runway, the ramps, well, the run runway exits and entrances, and the taxiway. And then we've got to then pretty much research the stands, which we should get them done pretty quick as well, because look how quick we've now tear through all of this. So that's now completely done. So construction-wise, we're now up to the concrete ramps. So we'll get them researched, which should be done pretty quick as well. And a... I want to see how big this is going to be. It's 41... Oh, my... Oh, my God. <laughs> You're funny. You're funny, game. You're funny. Holy moly. Right, what we're going to have to do is purchase this bit of land over here, which is 15,000. I'll purchase it. And then we should be able to fit it in. Obviously, forget this because I can move this backwards slightly. So that could go there and we'll be okay. But I'm going to have to move this down. Right, pause. While there is nothing using it right now. Holy mother of God. This is ridiculous. So if I put this here. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy, boys. And then the taxiway, which is the tarmac road, concrete taxiway, tarmac taxiway, which is what we need. We'll bring this down here. So we're just kind of switching it all up slightly. We'll just do it like that. Just make life so much easier for us. And it's like nothing even changed. Alright, there we go. Back into play mode. Are we in play mode? Fast forward mode? Right, that's just slightly moved out of the way. So it'll give me the freedom right now to <laughs> build that big runway. It's terrifying, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you right now. It's absolutely terrifying how big it actually is. I'm nervous. I, re I really am nervous right now. We can accept this plane coming in, get a few extra pennies coming in. So that runway then, the tarmac runway, good God, that is big. It kind of worries me to how big the actual stands are going to be as well. They're now going to be absolutely ridiculous, aren't they? But we'll get them researched first before I build everything. We'll try and get them researched first. Now, going off the previous years, you don't really make the huge amounts of profits until later on in the day. 
Now, I do need to research something next. The passenger terminal building. We are going to get bigger stuff coming in, so you might as well get that research done as well. There we go. And, um, right, let's see what's going to go down then. So if I built the... We've got the ramps and stuff like that. So we've got the runway. If I build it down, I'm just going to place it in here. Right, there we go. Oh, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Uh, the runway exit. So I'm going to put them down as far as you can. There we go. And then we need the taxiway for the... Oh, my goodness me. Is it, it's concrete, isn't it? Yeah, concrete's now in. So if I come up by... Actually, how big are the stands? So, oh, the ramps. Oh, there they are. They're chunky, boy. <laughs> They're chunky. They're real chunky. Right, okay. So if that's going to go there... If I just bring this up slightly... Oh, I don't know how to build this now. I don't know how to build this. Because I could go across like this. And a couple additional points connected. I don't know why I've done that, to be honest with you. I don't know why I've done that. But the ramps... I should have put the ramps in there. Right, because I'm not going to be able to afford much of this. I feel like I've just wasted a ton of money. Um, We'll build it like this. So I'll have the plane come in. We'll build one. Two. I'll do three to begin with. Three. Right. I truly don't know the best way to go about doing this. But if I run this all the way down to here. And then we've got the road. So I've done a three. And we've got a two space there. And at least the road can connect to here for now. <laughs> we'll bring this out. So at least we're kind of running some alignments going around. This is stupid, guys. I can't express how stupid this is now going to be. Now, we'll try and keep it all separate and have everything that we need for this kind of set up, like I said, separately. So, fast forward mode then. We have no connections for this just yet. This is where we need to kind of start squeezing everything all in. So, we really need to get back to now making some serious cash money moolah. We really do. We really do. So, we'll start with... Are we probably more likely to get cargo planes? Like, this is a cargo plane no, right now, isn't it? Yeah. But it's going to require all the stuff. I'm going to have to buy all the vehicles for it. So, buying vehicles, we need one of these each, which is actually not that expensive, which is pretty good. Now, at some point in the future, we'll have to buy better versions of them. Oh, can I not afford the portable stairway? <laughs> Yeah, because I just paid for a bunch of new cargo to come in. Right, can I accept you? No, can't accept you. We'll, we'll have to have bought that one. Are you? So we've initially got all the vehicles needed for those three uh, ramps. Perfect. Now we've got the passenger terminal planning set up, which is now... This is taking it to a whole other level. It really is. So, let's look at the cargo side of things. So, we're up to about the Universal Air Cargo Terminal. Right, let's get that done as well. Right, now we've got cargo and terminal and entrance. This is completely changing the game at this point. It really is. But I'm not sure if I want to go down the passenger route just yet. Maybe kind of just stick it to cargo to begin with. It's probably the better idea. So we're building the air cargo terminal anyway. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is going to be ridiculous, boys. It's a good job we still got this, though, to pay the bills. It really is. Right, money's been made. Not much, buddy, but money's been made. 
<laughs> Hoping we can get that research pretty quickly, and we do need to get into a bit of profits pretty quickly. So all this stuff then, we got this capital construction, which unlocks polygon tools. Oh my goodness, me, the early advanced early days airport, which we've currently got. There's gates and entrance exits. See, this, this seems really complicated for me right now. So I think what we should really do is just mainly focus on the cargo side of it all. And then once we've got a fair bit of money, we'll then start building the passenger side of it all. This is going to be crazy. It is going to be absolutely crazy, this. So the evening's shortly coming up anyway. It is shortly coming up anyway, and that's where we start to make the majority of our revenue. Right, the Universal Air Cargo Terminal's done, so what can we also get researched to kind of help us out? Refueling's going to be a big one. So, where's the next set of refueling? I mean, to, uh, to be honest with you, it's mainly just the, the, the steel to be able to have like a higher capacity for it all so how much for the universe 7,800 sorry is what we need for that so wait for that money to come in it's a shame we're not getting any more uh, on-demand flights uh, that I could actually utilize because I can make a few extra pennies like I don't have the runway for this nor the facility I mean I could connect this one up to it but that's a big push <laughs> it's a real big push right now and I think once we've researched this, I might then start getting rid of some of my... Uh, oh, hello, hello. So, accept you. Accept you. There we go, boys. There we go. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. I might reduce the clerks. So I'm not spending so much on staff them. Anything else I can research? It's, it's a tough one right now to where we go with the researching. It is a bit of a tough one. Um, any of this upgrady stuff down here? Handling instructions, we'll get that done. Because I've got to try and catch up with the eras, is what I've got to do more than anything. Right, two on-demand planes now coming in. Together, they'll make me about 12 grand. Huge bit of income right there, huge bit of income. Let me try and get as much of this research and done as we quickly can. Right, research in there, done. We'll do the two toolkits right now, which are all little boosts and benefits for us. That we will not say no to. Another on-demand plane. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then we're really going to have to get rid of some of these clerks, because now it's costing me an arm and a leg. <laughs> it really is costing me an arm and a leg right now to get these researched. So that's done. And then we could look towards bus driver training. Speeds them up. This is all speed boosts, which I love. Um, this is another boost for the cargo side of things. Boost for the refueling, basically. So what's sky caps? So performance boosts. Electric lighting. Boosts again. None of that, please. None of that. None of that right now. Take or pay contract paper trays. We've got night flights. Business center, which I'm not ready for. And right, we'll get one more thing researched in the background and then we'll just kind of let it continue. So electric pump powered pumps. It's for a refueling station. Which means they refuel a bit quicker. Yeah, let's get that done in the background. Right, let's get rid of one of these. So if I got to bulldoze one of these right now, so that means I have now heavily reduced the amount of clerks I've got, right? Down to 72. It was 96, it's now 72. Right, sweet, sweet, sweet. That will save me a few pennies. Okay, so this is the time right now where we should eventually start making the majority of our money then back because we're not paying exuberant amounts of um, staff costs. Still can't accept you yet. I could switch some of these over, like I said earlier, but I'm trying I'm trying not to, guys. I'm trying not to just yet. I could do it on the night time, but then I got a load of cargo coming in. So you gotta be a little bit careful. I don't want to do it. Not yet anyway. Not yet anyway. 
Right, so. 7,800 is what I need. Right, there we go. That's enough. Uh, facilities, the Universal Air Cargo. So this holds uh, a thousand capacity. Crazy amounts of cargo that can now hold. So build you just there. Now it will require a vehicle, which the vehicles are 1,600 each, but that's fine. And then we'll link it to these three. That's the cargo then done. It just needs a ramp agent set up to it. Actually, let me pause and quickly buy the vehicle. So I need one, two, two. Oh, I've got to upgrade parking spaces. All right, okay, continue. Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> that's all I can do at the moment. That's all I can do. So I've now got five. We might as well upgrade another parking space. How many can it hold, by the way? Oh, we can hold up to ten. Why am I buying more parking spaces then? Was it buying two at once? Is that what it was doing? Seven. Right, okay. I won't buy any more just yet until I need the rest. I need ramp services. I've only got this wooden one. It's still wooden over here, isn't it? Yeah. I want them all separate. That's that's the thing, right? I want it all separate. So I put the ramp... I'll put it down here, the ramp ones. And then we'll buy the vehicle for these. I'll only buy the one. I think we'll only need the one. And then hook this all up. So all it's now missing then is the refueling. And then we can start getting some on-demand flights coming in for it. Now, the refueling is going to be a bit different. We can get the fuel tanks for extra storage, but we ultimately still need... We've got the hand pump. Didn't I get the new one researched? Or am I researching that now? What am I re Yeah, I'm researching the new one now. So I've got the option of either just kind of waiting or put the, the one I've currently got in. And then just see how we get on. I might just turn one of these into scheduled and the other two be on demand. Yeah, if I make this one scheduled, which is ramp seven, which I'm going to call it 71. Right, I'm going to do a little bit I'm going to do a little bit different here because of how it's going to be set up. But in terms of scheduling, that 71 is down there. Now, if I go to contracts and sign some new contracts, I want cargo planes. Uh, and I want some big boy cargo planes. So, look how much money you get for these. It's crazy. All right, these are all passenger. Cargo. Um, there's some 7,000 ones here. Oh, I forgot. We've got to do this stuff now. <laughs> I forgot about this. So I can't sign yet. What's the reason for this? Um, why can't I sign it? What's the what's the issue? Do I need this stuff? What what's the issue here? Hold on. There is no fuel truck. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, wait, what? I do have a fuel truck. Oh, is it not the fuel truck for what these guys need? Like, I'm, I'm assuming I, I can accept you, right? Yeah, I can sign you. I don't have the fuel truck. There is no fuel truck. Hold on, research then. Airplane services. So where do we get to? We got to here. And is that unless it needs this? I'm so confused. 
That was also missing the refueling as well. I mean, I don't have any refueling here anyway. So is that what it means? I think there's two sides here. I can't accept anything on these because it doesn't have the refueling. But at the same time, we don't have the right refueling for it, maybe? Um, all right, let me put down the facility for it. So this is just a hand pump one. Hand pump, no, universal. What's the one we got over here? Hand pump. Large barrel stock. Have I got like the wrong refueling? Warehouse for barrels, fueling. I have the hand pump on there. Hilarious. <laughs> right, let me put you like here in, in the middle. And what we what we've got over here? I'm sure I've got the wrong one. No, is the hand pump the new one? I think the hand pump is the new one. I'm getting really confused right now. I'm getting really confused. The hand pump is the new one. So if I was to buy the vehicles here, so. Right, we've got four. Five, six. And then link these to it. So I'm, I shouldn't even be able to accept at least on-demand flights to these. But contract-wise, we don't have the fuel truck for these guys. The bigger planes. So what fuel truck would it be? I'm going to assume... It can't be this one, can it? Um, I mean, we'll unlock this one next and see if that one's adequate enough. But I'm not sure. It could be that I need the other building. Wow, we're going to find out. It's quite exciting, isn't it? It's quite exciting. I don't know why, but I feel nervous. <laughs> Right, I've never waited night. I mean, I said this on the last night time, but I've never waited night time to end so quickly. Because we are so close to seeing these big boy planes now landing. We are oh so close. Right, I got bigger cargo capacities. And we will eventually have bigger fueling capacities. It does mean that I'll have to change the scheduling of the cargo coming in. Oh, that one's coming in now anyway. Oh, this will be a part of my new... Oh, the, the requirements are not met for refueling. Oh, no. The requirements are not met for refueling. So I can't refuel this, right? Is that what you're saying? I am refueling it. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I can refuel it. Will we require two fueling vehicles? It does look like we we are going to need to. Can I accept you? Yeah, the, the refueling requirements are not being met apparently, but we can do it. Maybe not to the standard that they're requesting. But that's a lot of money when that plane's done, by the way. It was 16 grand for the second one. That's plane's done. It's out of here. I just made a ton of cash. <laughs> the planes are so big. They are so big. So big, boys. So big. Right, cargo management. We're going to break this contract and we're going we're gonna to do some new ones again. So we'll get them coming every six hours like I did before. But we're going to request 840, you reckon? No, we'll go for the full. Hang on, let's do Orville. Orville is Orville a bit more. 12. Right, one faz. There we go. So it's borderline at what we can kind of sell it to. So sign, Smith delivery, next six hours, sign. 
Next six hours. Sign. Next. And the next six hours is back to being 0, 0,100 hours. So that should keep us going. Providing... or oh, electric pumps are now done. Providing everything goes to plan. So facilities, the two lane for the refueling right now. If I put it right next door. By the vehicles, it's the diamond truck, which is what we've got here anyway. Now, we're going to get to researching. We get the DeSoto airflow. We'll research that next. And see what goes down for that. If we get to scheduling, not scheduling, sorry, contracts. Still don't have the required refueling structure for them, I believe. But for the most part, we can accept planes at the moment and it will still refuel them. And I'm actually going to actually need to order some more fuel. 24,000. Well, my capacity is 100,000. So who could... Oh, that's way too much. 40,000. 80,000. 48 grand, though. I'll order 40,000. We'll, we'll just order 40,000. Even that seems like a lot. Doesn't it? It just seems like a lot. Wait, hold on. How have I ordered this? This is flexible. Meaning it comes in that time. Oh, I should be okay, right? I forgot it was a flexible contract. Right, fine. <laughs> oh, it's stressing me out. It's stressing me out, boys. So is it cheaper because it's flexible? You get it in the long run? I don't know. I don't know at this point. Right. Waiting for this, this um, researching to be done. And then we'll ultimately know what's going on with the cargo side for the refueling. So that's researched. So if I sell us by one of those vehicles, which is the DeSoto, is it enough on the contracts? It is! So we've now got the right one. So if I get rid of you, and then you link to them, we'll now buy a bunch of these vehicles, which we're going to need to spend 12 grand and upgrade in the parking spot. We might not need to. It all depends on capacities. So they can hold 25,000 liters of fuel. So maybe two would be enough. It's enough right now where I can actually get some contracts. So I won't research the next fuel truck. I don't feel like we need to at the moment. Let's get some personnel upgrades. So let's just kind of tear through all of these and try and catch up slightly. So in the contracts then, I can now for cargo start accepting these big boy flights. So... I'm just going to keep it as it is. Sign, sign, sign. And then schedule. Pause a second. So one. That can go anywhere. Two. Three. Confirm. Contract wise, what else can we look at? So international flights, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, eight grand on these. So I could negotiate, you know, you reduce it, you maybe get a bit more money or... No, it doesn't really change anything, does it? I'm not too sure on that. We're just going to um, accept it for what it is. Um, Schedule-wise now. I'm going to have to now play around with this stuff. To get them all landing roughly the same time. I don't know how that, that's going to work. But I'm going to accept that. 
So that one stand will have a lot going on. So except, except, like apparently you can go both to the small ones. I think it's going both to the small ones. We're on fire now, boys. We should be making some serious cash. Now, when's that fueling coming in, guys? <laughs> kind of could do with that fuel right now. I didn't realize it was a as flex. Oh, okay. So I paid twenty four thousand. This is thirty two thousand. So flexible is good. Then again, you pick the the delivery time on the next day, don't you? Yes, I know the fuel is low, and we should be panicking like quite heavily. I am worried. I am worried. Right. Let's keep it going. Ooh, this is accepting both of these. I don't have enough fuel, so we're going to have to get like a delivery coming in pretty quickly. So instant delivery. 32,000 there. I've got to get that in now. Got to get that instant delivery coming in. So that fuel truck needs to get over here. Mr. Fuel Truck. Where are you? I've got no fuel. Right, it's coming in. It's coming in, boys. It's coming in. Right, at least we can now refuel again. At some point. Are we now refueling? Yes. Oh, it actually refuels really quickly. Oh, it's quite crazy how quick it refuels. Oh, that's glorious. Well, I'm tearing through these researches, by the way, boys. I am tearing through these researching right now. I am loving it. Right. Okay. So, the next day, we'll have scheduled flights coming in on the one stand. We've got on-demand set up for these two, so we can keep accepting, uh, accepting the kind of the high-paying, high-value flights. But they are few and far between, but we're going to keep them open just so I don't overload myself until I get the this side of the airport in a position to where it would be okay. Now, when's that? Oh my goodness me, they've already used all the fuel. Holy moly, I'm going to have to sign another instant one. Yikes, they're really going through it, aren't they, boys? They really are going through it. Yes, I know the fuel's coming in. The fuel is on the way. It is almost here. It is almost here. But you make a lot of money from refueling. And that's the other side of it as well. You make so much cash, it's unreal. Hoist and winch researched. So we get the large barrels up and running. Oh, that's a good one. 25,000 for that flight. That's a good one, boys. Another one coming in. Oh, snap. <laughs> I've got no fuel again. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. Whoever Louise is, jeez. Right, more fueling coming in, but as soon as it comes in, it's going to get used again. Don't mind it so much. Because we, we're charging them money. Got new contracts coming in as well. I can't believe how much we just made off refueling. I can't believe how much refueling we spent. Then we should get a big chunk being delivered shortly anyway. We need to get the regular delivery of fuel coming in too. Like how we do the cargo. So why are these guys now missing? Wow, nearly 35,000 in refueling. That's crazy. Oh no, I've got no fuel. Right, I gotta sort this fuel in Malarkey out right now. I really do need to sort it out. Becoming a bit of a pain. 
becoming quite the bit of... Pa oh my goodness me, I'm out again. Oh no, it hasn't come in yet. Right, 34,000 comes in. How much of it gets spent? <laughs> Literally all of it. Literally all of it right now. I'm seeing if I can wait till midnight for when my next delivery technically comes in. Or are they going to want to utilize that last 2,100 units of it? Planes are gone. Yeah, we can now wait for my delivery on midnight. I'll wait for that. It's about to get delivered shortly anyway. No fuel, said it. I know. I know, guys. You ain't got to tell me twice. Oh, the airline didn't get its uh, refueling. The delivery is about to come in as well. Yikes. The delivery is about to come in, boys. Here's a delivery right now, but I think it's too little too late. It might be too little too late. Right. Bit chaotic, but I need to sort out these refueling. So, does it exist the same as the cargo? Now, cargo is classed as... Like, I got a new contract. It's, it's a regular delivery coming in. Fuel... Oh no, this is regular. I'm going to kind of break that real quick. So I would like to get a flexible at 120,000 at midday. Right. Midday. I also want to then sign another one. For 600 hours. I'm on for 1800 hours. And would that see me through? Waiting to load and unload cargo right now. We need bigger unloaders as well, because this is kind of really, really slow at this point. Really slow. It's 40 a pop. I should maybe buy more vehicles to help us out. There's the full 12. Yeah. All right, that's getting the last bit of fuel. And then it's still going to be loaded with cargo yet, still. But we've only had 40 capacity each time. It's going to take num you know numerous amounts of vehicles. And now it's behind schedule. Yikes, I've got to really sort out then the uh, the cargo vehicles for it. Holy smokes, boys. This has really oofed me slightly now. Right? i got an A-Bus A300 right now. Wait till the A380 is coming. Or the big boy Belugas. Damn, son. That's when you know it's going to be crazy. Right, I'm going to also buy some steel tank... Um, storage facilities. So if I just kind of get a road Tarmac road just to go down and Here for a minute um, Facilities the steel tanker uh, if I get one Two Three I'll do a fourth one. Four. Okay. And if I then get this road to go down here, and then maybe... 
I think that is enough there. So back, how much are these, by the way? 6,000? Right, I'll buy all of these. Are oh, you telling me you're not going to go there? What's that for? Because of the road? So I got a 420,000 capacity for fuel. So if I get those orders coming in and I'm not using it, I've I've got excess that I can utilize. That makes sense. That makes sense, boys. I think so, but I don't have enough fuel right now to do this airliner. Does it require fuel? It does require fuel. Oh, all of my scheduled planes here are requiring fuel by the sounds of it. Um, right, okay, there is a fuel delivery about to come in shortly at six. I mean, we've still got to reload this, so I can kind of wait for that one. It's about to kind of drop anyway. Here it is right now, boys. Oh, no, that's for the cargo. Right, here it is. It's now in, so we're gaining the fuel. It should now start refueling. Which has got to do 31,000 litres. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Truly is crazy, the amount of fuel I've now got to do. I've now, I'm now going to manage the fuel ridiculously. Didn't get its service on time. Understandable. We're going to need to um, get larger cargo carrying vehicles. Right. This is going to be an issue. Right, we're going to research the larger cargo carrying capacity vehicles uh, once we've researched all of this. Now, these carry 40. So, for me, airplane services, I think it's this, right? We're then going to be on to... Actually, no, is it passenger services? We're going to be on to this, which carries then 60, which is double... But I've got to research that first, which is 50. So I can get an extra 20 out of each vehicle I could basically do. Which you get 60. This required... Five... Four vehicles? Five vehicles? Five? Would it require five vehicles to load it and unload it? Oh, I've accepted lots of planes to now come in. Not enough fuel again. We could probably do with more refueling vehicles as well. We're going to upgrade the parking spaces. Yeah, we're going to need some more fuel. We're going to need some more fuel. Right, let's get this research next. And let's order some fuel. So... I need an instant delivery. 80,000 litres. Why not? Why not? This is crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy, right? I'm loving the fact that we're getting the bigger planes, though. It is amazing. But they're not getting their service on time. It's the cargo side now letting us down. It really is. So we're going to try and focus on getting as much of this done as we can. So we've got 12 vehicles there, which is not a problem. Got the refueling vehicles there. They seem to have the capacity, which is okay. And then accept some more planes coming in. Which will require their own refueling. Lots of fuel now come in. We're in a little bit of debt right now because I have to pay for all that refueling. But that should see us through for quite some time. It really should. 
Uh, ramp occupied. Yeah, we, we've got to get these cargo um, vehicles done next. We really do need to get them sorted. It's taking way too long. Really is taking way too long at this point. Which is backlogging. Everything that's going on. So if a plane's delayed, it means the next plane coming in is also going to be delayed as well. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to accept everything I can, though, at the same um, time, because it's all about trying to get as much money in as we can. It's working. Don't get me wrong, it's working, but there's a few little tweaks we've got to make perfect still. It's like the amount of 40 capacity vehicles needed there when I can eventually get 60 capacity vehicles. But you're going to have to research straight away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, oh, no, not that one, sorry. It's this one. So the Gradshaw, which is a 60 capacity vehicle. We'll get that research before we change them over. We're now loading. So that's four, uh, that's six 40 capacity vehicles. We could reduce it heavily. We really could. All right, keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Another plane didn't get its service on time. We know. You ain't got to tell us twice. We 100% know right now. And will we get this researched in time is the next question. It will, should I buy another building to get more clerks? Hmm. Buying the building getting more clerks does mean I will have to then... I'll have less money to buy all the new vehicles. And I don't really want to wait till the next year again. So I might buy the bullet. Alright, where's the building? Researching. Just go all out. Spend all my money. Get it researched as quick as I can. That's all I'm going to focus on right now. And then just start switching over the... Uh, the vehicles because this i can also switch them over on this one as well and give better ones over here so less vehicles are needed it works it, it works out well for everybody involved it really does so refueling's about to come in and put me in a hole but we'll soon get that money back oh i don't think we're gonna get this researched in time before they go home might have been a bit late on Reacting to that. Oh no. They're about to go home at 90 something percent. Which is so annoying. Oh no, we might do it. Holy smokes, we did it. We actually did it. We actually did it. Right. And then what would they research next? Oh, can I do this one? What's this one? This is a 80 capacity. Can I actually get this researched? Yes. So that'll be done on the next day, but I won't wait till they're done. We'll start replacing now, but I can't afford just yet. So we do need um, a few flights now kicking in to kind of get us through this little deficit that we do have. Shouldn't take us too long. Shouldn't take us too long. We're at minus 11,000 now at this point. Refueling's all done. We're loading the cargo. We'll soon be able to switch the vehicles over. Which is really exciting. Come on, we're almost there. Actually, how much is it going to be for one of those vehicles? Uh, for a 60 capacity, it's 2,700. So if I got rid of every, every one of them but three, and then one, two, three, four, Four there, then get rid of one, two, three, 
And then we can buy one more there. I've got five of the new vehicles that carry 60 capacity. Right, good stuff. And every time I can afford one, we'll buy one. That's how we'll do it. Try and keep on top of things. So I'll buy seven. I think that'll be enough for the free stands. So how quick do they unload and load now at this point? Especially for this plane. So 60 a time is what they now do. So that'll be the second vehicle coming in. And then the third vehicle now kicks in. And then the fourth vehicle. So it would have been 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. So I've saved myself... Oh no, 20, 24 to go over 8. I've saved myself two vehicles going to this. Which is huge. It, it might not feel like it, but it's huge in the, in the delay that we have to wait for it to get done. So it's two vehicles saved going to it. Two vehicles there. So that's four vehicles in total we've now saved. All right, buy the remainder of them. They're now all done. Now, I want to apply the same thing over to here. Granted that we probably still need bigger planes. We probably do still need bigger planes. But if I now get rid, pause, all of these and replace them with these. Bigger capacities. And the same thing happens over here as well. So pause you. Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't apply to the early days airport. The advanced early days airport. And I'm assuming it's not going to apply to this one either. No. No. No, okay. Interesting. Maybe it's only for... Um, the newer terminal you know what i mean maybe that's what it, you, you can only get it for the newer terminal so how are these getting on then like this one over here needs to be unloaded and it require that additional vehicle and then we can start loading it again but it's still refueling at the minute And I want to see if any of these don't get their services. So we can understand what we're missing out on. That's all done. Off it goes. This is now loading up. It's because I set it to two hours in my uh, when I signed the contract, wasn't it? That's ultimately what it all comes down to. So, a bit quicker, but we still got lots of work we need to get done. I can't believe how we've now expanded the airport. Now, once we've got a bit of money together, we'll try and look towards pretty much setting up the passenger side of things. We'll try and keep on top of making sure that we've kind of nicely balanced with the cargo and the refueling side of it too. But it is crazy. Money is huge right now, and we need a lot of it. So until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye. <laughs>